Hi guys, uh, welcome back uh, to the uh, Mindworks Tarun Sharma channel and uh, this is the next 7 minute shot that I am doing. Let me just uh, start my timer along with this. So uh, this is the next 7 minute shot that I am doing and the topic uh, for today's shot essentially is, uh, uh, is essentially as you can see uh, how to study a quant chapter. How do you study a quant chapter? How do you move from being a poor or an average solver to a good great solver and a lot of people uh, when they start of their preparation this is one of the first questions they ask me and I my, my immediate response they ask me is it possible and my immediate response is if one guy somewhere somewhere in the past has done it and you will actually find hundreds and thousands and lakhs of people who have actually done this being uh, poor solvers of a chapter to becoming great solvers of the chapter so that journey if one person has done it you, it's, it's possible for you dunia mein to aise aise cheez bhi hote hain jo kisi ne nahi kiya wo pehle baar koi kar leta hai to ye wala cheez jo hai quants mein kisi chapter mein going from poor to great hundreds and thousands and lakhs of people have done done it before you so you can also do it if you if you follow the the correct uh, process and the correct structure so uh, so what is uh, this and of course as i said this is part of our 7 minute explainers and i hope you are enjoying this do give me feedback so first of all you need to understand that uh, uh, I, I call this is something a model that I have built myself that uh, when you talk about problem solving ability uh, in quants or even in DI or LR there is something called a 4 box model and what is a 4 box model? The 4 box model is that initially uh, when you enter a chapter some part of it you will be able to understand maybe you do the theory once and some part of it you will be able to react to and solve the questions yourself and some part you will not be. So this is the starting box. And what this level will be will depend on your starting skills and the difficulty level of the questions you're picking up. So if you pick up very difficult questions and the starting skills are poor, or uh, if you, your starting skills are normal but the questions are very difficult, this might just be 40, 50 percent. So which which LOD you go to, level of difficulty you go to, uske anusar tumara percentage different raiga. But I've seen people starting with 20 percent uh, with the ticks, and I've seen other people starting with 60, 70 percent with ki uh, 70 percent I can do. 30% questions I cannot do. Of course, there are people who start with even with 95% right at the start, but their problem solving skills are pretty good. But the first agenda, the first movement, three movements may have hai. First movement is from this box to this box, where you reach a point where you say that now I can solve everything. And during this time, when, you, when you're learning, don't bother about how much time you're taking to solve a question. This is the first part of the journey when you talk about improving any chapter. And from there, once you reach this point, then it is about efficiency. I can solve anything in this chapter and I can solve it fast. And finally, the last part is super efficiency. I can solve anything in this chapter and I can solve it faster than anybody else. So that's, that's the journey basically that you have to move to. But the critical part of this journey, the speed part, please remember, you learn to run only after you learn to walk. Before you learn to walk, you can't learn to run. So this is where you learn to walk. The learning of at least one method to do every kind of question that you see it. The ability to expose yourself to questions. And hence, uh, to, to, to do this journey, there are three, four steps in which you go through the journey. The first step of the journey is, of course, theory. And when you're doing the theory of a chapter, some part of the theory will be just a review for you. Some part of the theory will be a will be a repair. That means you knew it earlier and now it's but what you've forgotten it. So it's getting repaired in your head. And some part of the theory will be a new installation. You never had, you had never heard of that uh, part of the theory in the chapter. And of course, how much of the chapter's theory will be repair, review or re uh, reinstallation, new installation will depend on what your starting skills are. So, uh, so all these three, uh, obviously pe for people whom, for whom the new installation is, la is, is heavy because they don't remember anything from their past school, etc. They will require a little bit more time to do the theory. For somebody who's, for whom the theory is mostly a review, he or she can go much faster on that. Right? But, uh, so you'll have to identify the time. I'm just telling you what the work is. If you have seen my earlier three minute shot, I talk about the fact that we don't, we don't organize our prep according to how much time I have to give. We organize our prep according to what we have to do. So here I'm basically telling you what you have to do. And then steps 2 and 2b, which is comprising of step, step 2, is basically going through assisted problem solving question banks, where you are taking assistance from uh, teachers, from people helping you clear doubts. 
and then move to self problem solving i have talked about the number of questions required on every chapter in which you are doing self problem solving but when you go through a self problem solving what will happen is that all the questions that you pick up will not be you will not be able to solve it so if you are defining for example for a chapter like time speed distance if you define that i want to do 400 questions of self problem solving and you pick up a question bank which you are doing self problem solving if this is the question number of questions that you see this will be the number of questions that you have been able to solve and in my view the journey of your uh, preparation and the journey of victory over the chapter is being able to self solve this so you don't push this into assisted problem solving but what you do is you keep coming back to the chapter for multiple rounds and that's very important you do a round 1 on the chapter then when you do a round 2 of the chapter maybe a month later 15 days to a month later after finishing round 1 you redo everything you have done you revise everything that you need to and you complete whatever you have not done and if round 2 also the situation becomes better you can do from 60% of the of the questions you are now doing 70 80% of the questions come back to round 3 one month later what happens is gradually skills skill seep into your mind so if you give it if you if you do a round on a chapter any point of time when you do a round on a chapter it will improve your solving skills of the chapter and when your solving skills improve and you allow those solving skills to seep deeper into your mind in one month you are a better solver and a more confident solver when you come back to round 2 and hence you some of the questions you could not solve in round 1 will get solved in round 2 by yourself so try to go through round 2 round 3 round 4 and you don't don't need to get intimidated by so many rounds because individual rounds will keep getting shorter so the first round took around 20 hours on a chapter the second round might be just 8 hours because you're not no longer doing the theory you're no longer solving all the questions uh, by yourself you're just redoing them uh, means you can just flow chart them you don't need to solve them to the to the solutions or to the answers you don't need to do any calculations the questions you have been able to solve you just look at them that way and that's the basic process so so that's what it will be and uh, as as you do this the fourth and final step i'm out of time but i'll just finish this the fourth and final step is confirm your skills and after round 3 round round 2 round 3 round 4 confirm your skills there are two two ways in which you confirm your skills one is if you look at the previous year questions are you able to solve them that's the best indicator and the second is uh, is uh, you can look at at what's happening in your mock tests on that particular chapter or topic so that's the basic process and i'll be happy to answer your questions on chat here please do leave and leave your comments down says just a couple of uh, uh, promotional information from mindworks Uh, the crack every interview program the next program is starting on 23rd may uh, and we start typically a batch every month and this is a, a program that is done by randeer mishra manish konkar me arun sharma and minakshi upadhyay where we talk about uh, how you should approach i mean the, what is the difference between the short term interview and the long term interview preparation processes and the next batch is starting on 23rd may the link to join the course is provided in the description of the of the session and of course if you feel you need to take any coaching for uh, cat or clat or the upsc csat or ipmat exams do consider mindworks for that thank you so much bye bye